How do we deal with evil in our world? This question is especially difficult when evil is not perpetrated by obvious villains, but instead by cultures built on unrighteous morality. Sebastian was a young man living in the 3rd century in Rome, a culture of mobs that used the power of the state to brutally torture and execute Christians. The Roman culture would entertain itself with the suffering of the church and justify its evil with unreasonable allegations against the followers of Christ. Sebastian was not just any youth, he was a Christian convicted to combat the evil in the world around him. Sebastian's response to Rome might surprise you. In order to combat the evils of Rome, he joined the Roman army. As a Roman soldier, he could work undercover to assist Christians being persecuted by the Roman government. Sebastian had a success in both his undercover work and as a Roman soldier. Moreover, as a soldier, he became a favorite of Emperor Diocletian and became a member of the Emperor's Praetorian Guard an elite unit that served as bodyguards for the emperor. As part of the Praetorian Guard, Sebastian had access to many elites in society and was able to minister to many, teaching them the gospel of Christ. Furthermore, Sebastian's status granted him reliable information about those arrested for their faith. This information allowed him to minister to the families of the suffering. For a while, Sebastian was able to minister in secret, leading many people to Christ. However, after converting the local prefect, Sebastian was reported to Emperor Diocletian in 286. With Sebastian revealed as a Christian, the emperor ordered Sebastian to be used as target practice by archers. Sebastian was tied to a stake in a practice field, and he was shot so many times by archers that his body was described as being as full of arrows as an urchin. After being used for target practice, he was left for dead. A Christian widow named Irene, also known as Saint Irene of Rome, came to retrieve Sebastian's body. Irene's husband had also been a Christian serving in the Roman military, though he had been martyred for his faith. As Irene was taking Sebastian's body down from the stake, she discovered that he was still alive, so she took him home and nursed him back to health. Two years later, and after recovering his health, Sebastian took it upon himself to confront the emperor personally. He had been a favorite of Emperor Diocletian prior to being discovered as a Christian. Utilizing a stairway, Sebastian positioned himself to surprise and confront Diocletian for his brutal persecution of Christians. When he emerged, the emperor was shocked that Sebastian was alive. However, he was not moved by Sebastian's appeal, and after regaining his composure, Emperor Diocletian ordered the execution of Sebastian for a second time. This time, clubs were used to beat Sebastian to death, and his body was thrown into a sewer. The year was 288. A Christian named Lucina recovered his body, and she took it deep within the catacombs beneath Rome to bury it. 